gel overlay removal, how to take care of the cuticle that is basically stuck to the nail plate and do it carefully without any damage and a super fast and easy nail art in this video coming up. Hello guys, Anastasia here. Today I will be doing nail transformation for my gym buddy. She did this overlay five and a half weeks ago. This is actually post quarantine set. And some of the nails are lost and as you can see most of them are lifting. The thing is that her natural nails are naturally curving all the time and also five and a half weeks is definitely too long for an overlay and on top of that as you can see her nails are growing pretty fast. So this is what we got as the result. So we decided that we are going to file them shorter and do a new overlay. But first we need to file off the previous layer of the product and then I noticed that the product lifting is not only on the free edge as we could see from the beginning but also almost on each nail it's near the cuticle and along the sidewalls. So I'm filing the nail shorter right away so we will not waste time on it later. So let's proceed with the product removal and ceramic bead. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness At first I was thinking that maybe we do not need to remove the entire product but no, since it was lifting almost everywhere, we need to do that. And now I will show you some tips on how to shape natural nails. As we filed them shorter, almost twice, now it's much easier to create a square shape. But even if a client prefers to have, you know, this traditional square with the sharp corners, you still need to round them just a little bit if you're doing an overlay Otherwise, the product may peel in these areas. So having a sharp corner square shape is only possible when we are doing extensions. When shaping the nails, it is very important to sit straight. Do not lean on one side, do not put one leg on top of the other, and just make sure you are looking straight in front of you. Now we need to measure the length because sometimes the nail bed on one nail might be much longer than the other. Here, the ring finger has a slightly longer nail bed than the index finger, but we still need to measure the length from the cuticle to the free edge, because once you cover them with the color, nobody will be able to tell it. So this is how you need to compare them. Now we need to file the index finger a little bit shorter. And since her nails are curving, we can also create the shape that is called square oval and on natural nails it is only possible for people with a really deep curve. If the nails are flat, I would recommend just doing square or a soft square. Next step, pushing back the cuticles. At first it didn't look like she has tough cuticles to work on, but you will see that in a minute. So on some nails it's not hard at all to push it back. I just Use the pusher like I usually do, nothing unusual here, but on some nails, the cuticles are so-called spreading cuticles. They are basically stuck to the nail plate and even if you try doing like pushing them back with the pusher, we might end up injuring them. It's just not moving. So now I will show you an easy technique on what you can do. So we are going to use a soft ceramic bead like this one and I'm carefully filing the cuticle on top so that underneath the bead I'm basically going to push it up 
because, like I said, it's almost not possible to securely separate it from the nail plate, so instead of separating, we're just going to slightly buff it off. This bead is very soft, so it's almost not possible to cut the client with it, but please still use caution when working with it and always ask your client if it burns, if it hurts, if it's all good, that means we can continue. So now we pushed up the cuticle and at this point I can use the pusher and start like I would normally start the manicures. Now we can push it up and continue working like we just started with it. I will use a flame bit, this is a diamond bit with a red abrasive mark, which is medium fine, to clean all the skin and the sidewalls. And then I'm just going to trim the cuticles with the scissors. So here it is not possible to clean the cuticles like I normally do, a little deeper. So I'm just going to carefully trim the part that is separated, the white part, and that is it. So that is a little bit different from what I normally do, just because this is the spreading type of the cuticle. And speaking language that we normally use in Russia, this manicure will not be as deep as usual. You guys have been asking what else can you use to buff the cuticles, so here's the example. This is the buffing bead, normally it is used to buff the nail plate, but I prefer buffing the sidewalls and the cuticles so they will be super smooth. And this is the result. Now let's do the overlay and some nail art. First we need to apply dehydrator on all nails, let dry, and then I will be using non-acid primer only on the free edge. So here we have a client with a deep curves, that's why it is super important to use a non-acid primer. Because if you skip it, most likely the product will start peeling, since the nails really want to curve as they grow longer and the product doesn't really feel like it. Next step is always base coat. Make sure that you apply a thin layer and fully cure it for 30 seconds in LED. And after that, I'm going to add a so-called structure layer. This is a larger drop of the gel base, apply it on top and then level it up, so it will be all smooth and do not forget about Apex. Cure for 30 seconds again. Now let's apply the color. This one is called Fanfare by Luxio. Really like this brand, but honestly this particular color, I mean I love the color, but it just seemed like not intense enough. As you can see now I apply it in one coat and it's just a bit transparent. While normally most of the colors from this brand are not like that. With this skin type it's really hard to get closer to the cuticle with a regular brush, that's why I will be using thin brush and you guys can use this simple trick as well if you want to apply the color closer to the cuticles and have a beautiful even line. Even though I'm not super happy with the coverage of this color, we will be applying just one coat because the design we're about to do will definitely cover it all up. For the design I will be using aero puffing sponge and a white gel paint. So first I want to create some faded spots of the white color and if you do not have this kind of sponge you can use any kind of sponge like an eyeshadow applicator might work as well. Just do not cover it all up because we need to have some blue parts as well as some white parts. And I decided that I will just add it on one side and then on the other side. And since the gel paint consistency is usually pretty thick, I can do it like on five nails at once and then just cure it. Then if you feel like you need a bit more white, just fully cure the first coat and then add another one. 
And do not worry at this point about fate. It does not have to be a perfect ombre because there will be more design on top. So this should be, you know, a quick step like a background for our new design. Fully cure for one minute in LED. Then I'm going to use the same color we used for the background, Fanfare by Luxio, and we need to flatten it up. And this is not super easy at first, by the way, but once I did that like a couple times, then I got used to it. So we need like a flat surface of it. Then just pick a stamper, the one that you use for stamping, and wait a few seconds. And you see what's happening? Magic! Now we have bubbles on top. And then all you need to do is just to transfer it on the nail. I'm sorry I'm jumping a bit out of the frame, it was just kind of hard to stay inside. And that's it! That's pretty cool, right? So this stamper that I'm using, it is not buffed, because sometimes we buff our stampers to create a certain kind of stamping. So this should be a smooth one, and that's it. This is those kind of designs that once you seal it with a top coat, normally people do not have idea how you actually created it. So the thing is, you will not see this border with the background since we used the same color. And I think now it looks some kind of like a clouds or, you know, waves from the sea. Let me guys know what this design reminds you of. And then, as I'm sealing it with a top coat, I'm also adding an extra drop on top to create the structure, to build the apex, and to have a super smooth surface, as this design added a little bit of bumps on top, but it's not a problem, since we always can smooth it out with the top coat. Fully cure for 30 seconds, and here we go! Beautiful overlay and design! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are first time here, consider subscribing as I post new nail art tutorials just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!